Hi, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. Welcome to the crafting family. What's it about today? Another Christmas in July video, and I'm excited to show you this one. But please, before you do, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. There are two links down there to fetch and receipt hog. You can you can earn your own stuff. You can earn your own coins and points towards money and gift cards that you might want for different stores. I just earned $35 for Joann's Unfetch and I earned some money on receipt hog. So I'm going shopping. This is my well-used Sizzik Sizzix Big Kick. What are we making? This adorable card. Isn't that cute? This adorable card. We're going to make this adorable card out of a Timu, out of a Timu die. Let's get started with it. How's that now we're going to die cut first okay i'm enjoying die cutting um before i didn't feel like my crafts were pretty enough but now i'm enjoying them this die was from timu and so we're going to use these two pieces to make a card with. I'm going to leave this inside, um, this die inside. I'm not going to use that. I have a piece of paper out of a paper pad that I got for $1.80 from Joann's last year from clearance. This will be the outside of the card on the outside. I'm going to use, okay, where is it? Hold on, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to use a craft card that I had bought, a craft paper card that I had bought. This is very heavy card stock, too, from Hobby Lobby, I think a year or two ago, off the clearance. So... We're going to use that, and then we're going to use a piece of vanilla paper to cut the um, inner piece off. Then we're going to use my Stampin' Up! Ruby Red stamp pad. I have a whole mess of Stampin' Up! stamp pads. Then from Hobby Lobby, my um, Grogan ribbon with stitching. And we're going to use my Jelly Roll pen to match that. Two pieces of paper for the front of the card. And I have some buttons. Whoops, buttons from Stampin' Up. Okay. And we're going to use mounting tape. We're going to use a stamp I have that says, let it snow. So, let's just get started, okay? I want the reason I um, am going to die cut in this video is to show you how I made this card okay you see that I just used the card you can fold a piece of paper in half and do it that way I used a card to this is not folded well not burnished well so what I did was I positioned this. Now, do you see where this edge is? I positioned it over the fold so that the fold will be included in the card 
so that it will be all one piece when you cut it out. Now, I'm just going to put my cutting plate over the die so it won't move. But I want to place it. Nope. I want to pull it over to make sure I do get that fold into the die. A little more. Okay. Do you see where that is? Do you see how there is black in between the die and the cardstock? We're just going to send it through. And it cuts well in a double layer. I love it. Okay. Now, I'll show you how that came out. We're not going to use that die anymore. That all came off. And sure, you get an edge like that, but it's okay because you can open it like a card. You make some Christmas cards that way. I love this die, guys. I really do. Now, for this cover, I want to do... I found some paper that looked like it was knitted. So all I'm going to do, I'd rather use the part with the hole in it. Did I do it that way? Yes, I did. I want to use the part with the hole in it um, because I'll save more paper that way, I think. All right. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Jill, Jill, Jill. There we go. And I always go through twice. I'm using a magic mat from scrapbook.com. I am not uh, sponsored by them, but I do like them. There is your outer piece of the card. Then I'm going to take that out. I'm going to cut the pieces I want to save. And we're going to do, uh-oh, will it fit? Yes, it will fit. But I need to, need to cut this off. We're going to get a pretty, you don't have to stamp on the inside. You can leave it blank and just say what you want, which is what I'm going to do. And there you go. I will be right back. So now we have our pieces. I want to also make sure that I stamp. And I'm probably going to make this square this time because I I don't think I don't like the way that looks so I'm going to take my little piece of off-white paper and just stamp I let it snow on there And I stamped it upside down. Let's try that again. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Good enough. We're just going to have to make it even when we cut it out. Now, you saw me stamp that. Let me wipe it off. Okay. Put that away. Get this out. What else? Nothing else there. Now, I'm going to open this up. We're going to glue that inside first. So I don't forget. Okay. And I'm just going to use my Barely Art glue. I was going to use my other glue, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't used it since the first time I used it. So I'm not sure if I have to struggle with opening that or not. I heard some horror stories of the art glitter glue, but I like it. All right. I'm just going to probably get my head in the way a little bit. And we're going to place it in there as close to the middle as we can. See how that looks? Isn't that adorable? You've got some writing space there. You can stamp what you want. Writing space down there. Now we're going to close it. We're going to turn this over. And yes, this is a double-sided paper. But I wanted to use, like I said, that side. So we're going to cut off the pieces that we're going to need. Actually, what did I do first? I did the ribbon. All right, I learned this a long time ago to do the ribbon first because um, you could run into problems while mounting. We used to use double-sided tape for that, and the ribbon never stayed, but it does with this Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix. Okay, interrupted. Um, so we're just going to put a line of Fabri-Fix. I was trying to show you. I use Get Fabric Fix or Fabric Tack, and I do I do refill these little bottles with the big ones. I like that. And I will have to probably buy another bottle because I like using it's my favorite glue. So I'm gonna snip off the ends a bit. Okay, and I know I moved it. We're going to put glue on the ends here to get it to try to stay. It will stay because that's what it is. It's fabric glue. We're going to do this. We're going to fold it along the lines because if you don't, you're going to have a problem. You have wrinkles. There you go. Now, see that? We're going to do this. We're going to put our mounting tape on all over here so that we could just pop it up just a bit, not a lot. Okay, and I'm going to do the thumb. Put them down here. Thumb, thumb. Take that little piece. Don't waste it. Bring it down.
There you go. Then we're going to have one. One piece here. You want to snip this side here. Bring it up. And yes, I'm using the Fabri-Tac because it will hold stronger. And one here. Not too much, just scrape a little bit onto it. And then one in the middle. Kind of want to go straight. And Fabri-Tac dries fairly flat on a paper surface. So I'm going to take all the little pieces off here and I'll be back. All right, so now we're going to put some Fabri-Tac right on here. So these aren't, um, I really like these mounting tapes from the Dollar Tree and I get them very few far in between and when I do get them I buy six at a time because they hardly stock they stock them once a year so we're just going to place this as much in the middle as we can and there you go get rid of this very simple little card. You're gonna keep your Fabri-Tac out, get a little button out. I used a square button here. Do we want a square button? Hmm, we're not gonna have a choice. There we go. These are the square buttons. I think they're cute. You can get these anywhere. You can go to Hobby Lobby. They have buttons for sale. So, I was given a whole mess of stuff by a friend of a friend who was quitting uh, stamping up. And then my daughter also went to her garage sale and bought me a whole mess of stuff from stamping up. So, I'm really grateful and blessed to have this. I have over 100 sets of stamps and I need to start using them. <laughs> but I think my discouragement is coloring. It's very hard for me to color. All right, so I put a button there. Now we're gonna work on the sign, on the uh, letterhead, whatever you wanna call it. So, I'm going to try and get it to become like a little square. All we're doing is we're framing out the let it snow. Then we're going to mat it. We have the corner punch. Mm -mm. Now 
let's see i'm going to round them with my scissors if you can't do that do it with your scissors and guide it with your other hand just go wee just swing it around as you're cutting down with your scissors that's all now We're going to put it on this. I'm not sure if I want to pop it up. I don't, but I think it'll look better. And no, I'm not using glue this time. <laughs> I don't know why. It's more secure if you do. And we're going to just plop it there. Then... We're going to cut it as straight as we can. See how we're framing it? And then um, rounding the edges. Then we're going to take our jelly roll pen and put some stitches in it. You guys see what I'm doing? <sighs> I was so lost. I didn't know what to do. So I took out and I went through my dies. And I said, I remember I said I wanted to make a card out of these mittens. And I took out the mitten. And I let it sit there for a couple of weeks. So I just couldn't think because my craft room was too hot. If you hear the air conditioner in the background, I finally got one in here. So. Then I came in today because I felt so much better. There you go. And voila. So this is my second Christmas in July tutorial. And I hope you, I like this one better than that one. But I hope you do like it. This was my first attempt and my second. So I hope you do like this tutorial. I hope you do like the little cards um i do and i would make this in many different colors i just wanted to choose these colors because i know some of you are vintage crafters and i do like the vintage as well i could have distressed around the mitten but i did not 
you can do that too. That would have been 10 more minutes here. So, like, like this? Do you like it? I think it's really pretty. This one, I'm not as fond of. But, that's how it goes. So, here, I mean, I could put a little snowflake there if I wanted. Maybe I still will, but... Hope you like that second one. You could put an in. Um, oh goodness! You could put some text in here with a stamp, or leave it blank. I just put some text in here, and they fit great in your envelopes. They fit great, and you can send a card, an adorable card, in an envelope in the mail. I want to make a few more of these because we're going to fill. You see this die? This is a big pocket. We're going to fill that with a Christmas present full of cards. We're going to make a Christmas present sooner or later i don't know what kind of cards but we will all right so here we go with the prayer again lord jesus thank you for loving us as much as you do and filling us with your love thank you for giving us a, a heart of flesh and getting rid of our heart of stone thank you for Steering our minds with your word. Don't let us forget. Let the word sink down into our spirit that when we do need your word, God, your Bible, that it will float up to help us with your Holy Spirit's help. Jesus, we recognize that you died on the cross for us and you spilled your blood for us you were the last sacrifice and we thank you for that jesus we ask you to come into our hearts and live there for the rest of our lives and we thank you for that too please dwell into dwell in our lives and dwell in our hearts and continue to guide us each and every day fill us with your holy spirit that we can go out and do what you command of us to do. For you said, I give you this one command, that you go out into the world and spread the gospel. And that's what we're doing. We're making sure to use every means possible. Fill us with your wisdom and your love and your mercy, Father God, for those who are in sin, let us gently tell them they're sinning, but love them to Christ. I have seen some Christians just point at others and say, you're sinning because you did that. You're sinning because you're that way. That's not the way to be. We're not any better than other people. We are Christians and we're supposed to love. We're not supposed to judge like that. We're supposed to love someone to Christ. And I pray that you teach us all to do that. Thank you, Father, for your son and his sacrifice. Thank you for sacrificing your son too, your one and only son. And anybody who is out there that has an illness, infirmity, mental illness, we speak that out of your body right now in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, that with your healing, it stays forever. It stands forever. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay.
I hope you really did like our little cards. Aren't they cute? I'm going to do this. And there you go. So, guys, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful night's sleep. Stay cool in this hot weather. And God bless each and every one of you. And keep creating with love. Bye now.